Obviously, there's a lot of buzz around AI right now and ChatGPT and how it may impact salespeople, which is why I'm really excited this week to speak with Michael Alexander, who's not just building a ChatGPT tool for salespeople, but he himself is actually a salesperson with extensive sales experience in the industry. I had a chance to poke around with what he's building. It's really cool. It's a Chrome extension that really quickly allows you to create custom messages for people you're messaging on LinkedIn. I wanted to bring Michael on this channel specifically, again, because he is a salesperson, has that frontline experience, can speak to the exact types of problems that we as salespeople are experiencing every day. And I know you're gonna get a lot out of this interview. And I might add at the very end, there's also gonna be a walkthrough of how to use the tool as well. And yeah, I know, you know, at the end of this video, we're going to link in a more extensive demo from you as well, but just for everyone watching and, and helping them understand what is outreachai.co. Yeah. Yeah. Outreach AI is, it's a powerful uh, sales tool for LinkedIn. So it's a SaaS suite. Uh, right now, Eric, we are a uh, web application and a Google Chrome extension. So just need Google Chrome to uh, install that extension. And then uh, the web application is obviously, you know, after sign up, you all have access to that web application and our dashboard and your history, favorites, things like that, um, that we'll share more in the demo here. Kind of setting the foundation for what you're trying to solve here. When you're, you know, it may be maybe a two-part question in terms of like what has traditionally worked and why do you feel that there was a need to, you know, build something that's an AI enabled uh, messaging tool? Again, sorry if that's a, a wide question, but... Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I think the the first two words that jump out to me right away, Eric, is is sales or outreach paralysis. Rather, um, salespeople they they really struggle with like outreach paralysis. Um, I know I did when I first you know got into the field and still do, approaching year ten, right? So, I you know throughout my sales career, I think just thinking about the trials and tribulations that everyone experiences and then having validation with myself going through my own trials and tribulations with my own outreach strategy. And how do I connect with Eric or a prospect? How do I garner more connections? Um, and then seeing my team also go through that, it just started screaming out to me that this is a real problem and I'm passionate about helping it. And I spend most of my time now coaching and helping people, you know, connect with people. And, and not in the way that's just, hey, let's just connect and, and be purely transactional, right? I know we've always heard this like in sales, like it's really important to, to derive and have like a authentic connection, which is really, really true. If you've been in the field and you've, you've connected with a, a prospect. Um, so I'm focused on keeping that human element to it, right? Making the message sound as much like Eric, Mike as possible. And um you know, then there's a, there's a time and efficiency piece to it too. You know, I am totally empathetic to reps that are professionals that have hundred to 200 people on their call list, Eric, and they need to get through that rather quickly. And, um, that, that is, you know, I'm getting now closer to outreach AI and where that I've, I found, and I'm really excited about what we're building over here and the suite that we offer to help people kind of get their time back, save 50% of their time or more, on on their initial outreach and really connect with people authentically with a personalized you know message here yeah no that, that's great to hear and i think also just a reminder to everyone watching there is a link to the tool in the description and also at the end of this video i'm letting mike uh, actually record an in-depth walkthrough of how the tool works etc and i think that's the next question on my end right which is saving time how do you envision this working in you know a daily workflow for a rep what is it going to equip them with that they don't have maybe right now yeah, yeah, absolutely. I think, um, yeah, it, it's daily usage for sure. You know, um, if you're a if you're trying to connect with people um, at scale, or just, or you know, even if it's a targeted amount because you're maybe targeting, you know, C-suite or executive level type, you know, uh, professionals, this is a daily usage tool that will absolutely help you with your outreach. Um, one thing that I found. Uh, in sales is we definitely get to success faster uh, by failure. And that, that was probably found that in sports and just all through my life too. But um, I think that's, what's awesome about outreach AI and what we're doing here is it allows you to connect or not connect and then understand how you can kind of pivot and take the next step and be creative with your approach. Right. Um, and kind of focus on, on that. And, and, and really how do I get in front of this person in, in an authentic, true way? So yeah, daily usage and and these are non-templated, you know, type messages that 
you can create and generate and, and learn from. So yeah, really excited about that, but certainly daily and, you know, helping you with your outreach. And like, for instance, me as a rep, you know, I've experimented with like chat GPT and whatnot. And like, it's good, right? Like, it's really impressive what it can do. Yeah. You know, it's been open to the public for like six months, right? So for, for someone that's maybe experimented with chat GPT versus what you're doing, how is yours more authentic? How is yours more specific? And and yeah, but what what is it maybe doing that's different than just vanilla chat GPT or other AI? Yeah. Yeah. So huge compliment to chat GPT because we're, that, that is the AI, right? That is what we're using here. You know, the API and, and, and chat GPTs, you know, their version. So, you know, I, they absolutely are helping us from an outreach AI perspective. Um, you know, what I found in using chat GPT because I was using that uh, in the past as well, it uh, it's, it's just more open-ended, right? Like it is not specific and set up right now for sales professionals, the way it needs to be, right? Like if you go in and use our, our, our suite, you'll see that easy to use, uh, easy to navigate, right. And set up quite, uh, quickly in terms of how to reach out to somebody, what the context of the meeting is and, you know, what the call to action is. So it's more set up with the sales lens and creating that message and all of those fields, you know, once you input the the data necessary will be included in the generated of the message. So I think ChatGPT is doing amazing things for sure, but it's just not set up to help sales professionals um, nearly as easy or as effective as what we're doing here at Out Outreach AI. No, it's really cool what you're doing. And like I said, you know, the, the thing for me, I'm, I'm always excited about sales reps that are on the front lines building tools like this, because again, I'm sure there's developers that could take a crack at it and, and maybe find something, but I think you always bring that unique perspective and, and definitely excited to dive into it on the demo we have at, at the end of this video as well. I just call out as well. Not only do I have the link to outreachai.co in the description, but Mike, if you want to connect with him directly, his LinkedIn is there. I, I had a chance to poke around with a tool and it's really cool because on LinkedIn, it's able to go through someone's profile, look at their activity, pull some unique insights out, and then very quickly draft an email on otherwise something that manually is going to take, you know, 10 to 15 to even more time uh, if you're actually doing it right. So I think it's a really cool thing. And I'm sure it's only going to continue to improve to get better over time. But Mike, thanks for being on here. And we'll jump over to the demo now. So thanks, everyone. Yeah, thanks so much, Eric. Really appreciate the time. Hey everyone, Mike, founder of Outreach AI. Wanted to do a quick demo just to walk through on how to use Outreach AI. Today we're a, a web application, a Google Chrome extension. So as you can see here, we're on the website, we're on the landing page. Uh, you can easily install the Chrome extension. Please do so right here with the click of this button. No credit card required. You can cancel at any time if you do sign up to our, our paid offering. You can start the free trial here. And then if you already have a, a trial or a, a paid subscription, you can log in accordingly. So. Let me jump over to the, the web application side of Outreach AI. Uh, this right here is the blown up version of the Google Chrome extension. So everything you see here, you'll see on the Chrome extension, um, same fields and everything like that. And then we have our favorites, our history tab, our profile. If you want to update, you know, your name, if you want to go by a nickname or, you know, the company and the title, you can do that all um, through our help or through our profile page. Uh, jumping over to a quick demo on the, the, the Google Chrome extension, right? So you, you come on LinkedIn, you'll, you'll go to the prospects page of who you're targeting or whoever it is that you, you'd like to connect with, right? Um, once you're on this page, pretty straightforward from here, the Chrome extension is at the top right. You'll click on the Outreach AI Chrome extension. Everything kind of populates rather quickly. You can edit accordingly, you know, make sure who all the information is correct. Uh, what do you want to talk about? You know, I'd like to talk about uh, background in sports, right? Um, you can, what's the call to action? You want to schedule a meeting, a call, a compliment? Right now, I'll keep it at uh, scheduling a meeting, but there are a couple different options there. And then how do you want the message to be generated? Do you want it to look at Eric's bio, a recommendation that someone wrote about Eric, or a post that Eric made? So any of these three options today, we'll, we'll stick with the, the bio function. And then you can see right here, the, the bio is already auto-generated uh, from the page. And then you can kind of click on generate the AI content. AI content's generated accordingly. You'll scroll down and then you kind of have your, your message here, right? So 
you can you can now favorite this message and it'll go back to your web application. It'll be in your favorites. Uh, you can copy the message. You know, of course, go into the into his message into Eric's profile and then you know copy and paste it and make the edits accordingly if you if you want to clean some of it up. You know, back on the the Chrome extension, you can continue to generate multiple messages. These are non templated. You know, new creative unique messages that are being generated. So. You can continue to generate a message. If you didn't like the first message, if you want to change what the context is, you can do all that accordingly. And it's uh, super easy to use, uh, fast, and still personalized. Still keeping that human element, as you can see, you can copy and paste, add a little bit more of you into the message and, and take it from there. But I hope you guys all enjoy. Thanks so much for, for your time.